This is my second day trying to flush out or drain the coolant, the old coolant on our EG93 hatch. This is like my third flushing or third cycle. It's still not yet done. I'm still not yet satisfied with the results before I put in the Honda green coolant. So here are the waste. I think it's about uh, four, maybe six liters I wasted already. Distilled water. So before I put in the new ones, I want to flush them out with just distilled water and then I'm going to buy another coolant as the sacrifice coolant. I'm going to flush the remaining distilled water inside the radiator and inside the engine. I'm going to try and drain this right now. Maybe I can show you how, but I want to put this back in. I don't want to see some squirting coolant under the hatch. And here we go. Let's get down and dirty. Oh boy. I think it's really hard to get an angle, but the cap is right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. It's kind of slow because we still had the red red cap on and by the way the engine is so cool I let the engine rest for about I think 12 hours more than 12 hours there you go squirting like Soteria oh I think she's clean I think it's all white now, but I'm not yet done with this sucker. Let's go ahead and check. Here we go, let's pull it out. Nope. We still have some rust and still not yet satisfied, so maybe Maybe I need to waste like 20 liters of distilled water and then use one or two liters of coolant and then flush it out and then finally use the Honda Green coolant. I'm gonna start from step one, plug this back on the rad and add some distilled water, start the engine for about a minute, let it cycle and then add some more distilled water and bada boom, let's see what will happen. On our little experiment, this is what I'm planning to use, uh, purified distilled water. This is to just only flash the rust and the remaining old coolant on the radiator and the EG engine D15B. I'm going to pour this over here because it's much easier and smaller. This one is quite heavy while I'm holding the camera <laughs> I just need to add a little more and then I'm gonna start the engine I'm gonna wait for the engine to suck more distilled water and then turn it off just gonna let it spin for maybe a few seconds or a minute or two yeah here we go Let's take a look at the rad. I hope she's gonna suck some distilled water. Oh, there you go. It's gone. Let's add up some more. Yeah, come on, eat them all up. Suck them up. Basically, that's guess what I'm planning to do, I'm gonna let the engine suck them all up and then 
dry it off, let it dry, drain the coolant, drain the distilled water, repeat the cycle for like maybe 10 times. I don't know. I think we can turn this off now. Or maybe we need to wait like a minute more. I'm gonna have to check, but I'm gonna turn it off for a while. So I started the engine once again. Let her, let, let her run for a few more sand. You have to wait till the color change. So right now it's still kind of rusty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the rad to cool down, the engine to cool down before I do another cycle. I'm gonna drain the remaining distill and then add another more till we have a clear one. Yes, finally, after several drain flush change coolant, I think this is the 6th or 7th flushing, and it's almost clear, it's kind of perfect, but I ran out of distilled water, so what I'm planning to do right now is I use a different brand, but it's also color green, so I'm gonna also use this for flushing, and I still have a couple more, couple. I still have a few mLs left, and here how she looks like gonna start the engine gonna bleed them out let the engine suck all the coolant and then add some more then after maybe 24 to 48 hours we're gonna flush this one once again and then finally that's the time for me to use the Honda green long life bada boom coolant <laughs> so I want to show you guys the first day this is the result of my first day flushing, changing the coolant. Look at all the rust. Rusty. And this is just a while ago. So yesterday I started around 2 p.m. and here's the result. I had to quit by 5 p.m. and then I started around I think 11 a.m. a while ago. So most likely uh, we're going to use 6, 12, no, maybe 16 to 18 liters of distilled water and two liters of green coolant so let me start the engine and I'm gonna let the engine suck up all the coolant and add some more so finally after 10 days or 12 days I'm gonna drain the cheapo coolant the one with the blue packaging over there so let me just zoom this one and this is only six dollars for two liters I used this one as the last uh, liquid to flush the rust for 10 or I think more than 10 or 12 days so finally last coolant is the Honda green long life coolant I'm slowly draining the cheapo coolant I don't want to open up the cap if I open the red cap definitely it will squirt like hell so I'm letting it drip slowly I'm not sure if there's some rust I flushed this one like maybe 10 or 12 times distilled water and then uh, final flushing is the cheapo coolant so I'll be back we're gonna install or put in the Honda green coolant, start up the car, add some more, let her bleed, and bada boom. Okay, finally coolant out. The cheapo coolant is out and she looked like this. So far I think there are no rust. Here's the cheapo coolant, six US dollars. So to make sure, we're gonna transfer the coolant over here and let it sit tight for maybe 5-10 minutes and I'm gonna check if there are any rust just like the previous ones look at them been 12 days so give me some time to fill this up and then later on we're gonna use the all original Honda Long Life coolant add some coolant layer bleed and add some more then off we go Okay, finally, here's the outcome. 
I don't see any rust deposits on the pan but take note here is how she looks like it's not completely green there's some like brownish spots but I don't see any rust deposits under the bottle but take a look at or check out the previous ones they're all rusty right it's been like 10 to 12 days I used the oh, I spilled some on the floor 10 to 12 days I used the cheapo coolant so right now I'm back this is the last coolant hopefully that I'm gonna add and this is the original Honda coolant so what I need to do is start the engine wait for the rad fan to turn on and off definitely the engine will suck some coolant so we need to add up you will see some bubbles I'm not sure if I can catch them on the camera but here we go Whew. finally as soon as I started the car engine it sucked some uh, coolant and I need to add more and then wait for the rad fan to turn on and off and then wait for the air to come out add some more then turn off the engine when it's all done then place in the rad cap I forgot to mention we need to press the hoses so that the air will come out I think there are only two or maybe three at the back so I'm going to wait for the rad fan to turn on for the thermostat to kick in and it will suck some more then I need to add turn off the engine and then make sure everything is all bleed out and then put in the rad fan we are done the rad fan is turning on and off then I just need to add a little more then we are all set just need to... there you go she's turning off some more turn off the engine and show the red cap and we are good to go <laughs> adios so it has been a long process but so far so good